Hey guys, thanks so much for coming back to my channel. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish up with the Kardashian relationship readings. So we're gonna go ahead and take a look at Courtney and Scott in this video, see if the rumors are true that they're trying to have another kid together. Um, Cause that was coming out, you know, and supposedly after Scott left Sophia, you know, him and Courtney were all about each other again. And then all of a sudden he popped up with, um, Lisa Renna's daughter, I think her name's Amelia. So let's go ahead and take a look. Spirit, please join us today and answer any questions involving Kourtney Kardashian and Scott Disick. How their relationship looks. Are they gonna get back together? Are they gonna have another child together? What is going on there? Spirit, we thank you for joining us and answering any questions in regards to Kourtney. Kardashian and Scott Disick, please understand that we only ask for the insight of clarity and understanding and never with any malicious or bad intent. Thank you for joining us, Spirit, and answering all of our questions. We ask that you bless all that we ask for that we can participate in much of you at this reading. We love you, Spirit, and we thank you. And thank you so much, you guys. We are at 500 subscribers. So I do have a video with the giveaway coming later on today as a thank you. Make sure you guys are continuing to like, subscribe, comment, share, do all of those things because it lets me know that you guys want me to keep doing this. And we will also... Like I said, be doing a giveaway. Somebody is going to win a $50 gift card to moonlucklove.com as well as a 30 minute phone reading with me for a part of that. So make sure that you are subscribed and we will do another one at 750 followers. So if you guys keep going the way you have been going, we'll have another giveaway within a week or so. <laughs> so and I will have that video up and it will be titled about the giveaway. So make sure you keep your eyes peeled for that. I just don't want my giveaway attached to any Kardashian energy. <laughs> okay. So the first thing I'm getting here is that, you know, Scott wants to work on things with Courtney. He wants to get back together with her. But there is this, you know, because there's this Eight of Cups, Eight of Pentacles, and Knight of Wands, which is talking about Courtney leaving him, obviously. Him working on himself and wanting to get back together with her. However, where there's this Two of Pence, which is making a choice whether or not you want to move forward or not, here comes this devil card, this temptation that he always sort of ends up, I would say, like self-sabotaging the situation to where it's like, you've been doing really good and you haven't been doing the things that annoy Courtney or that have caused issues between the two of you in the past. And then all of a sudden, you know, you're drinking all the time or you're going out with these like crazy, you know, young girls that you shouldn't really be involved with and things like that. And then... You know, it's just, it messes things up because then here we have this five of wands, which is that then they're fighting with each other. But I do get there is this two of cups here. So I would say that they are going to get back together. However, <laughs> there's a ten of wands here, and or a ten of swords, I mean. And I do feel like because it's Scott coming up as this king of cups that he's gonna do something again like they'll work things out they will get back together but then he's gonna mess it up again and they're gonna end up having issues again um but he's definitely with this magician the eight of wands he has been trying to make things work spirit saying that it was you know with this two of wands and this three of wands like Scott was over here trying to fix things with Courtney and she just couldn't make up her mind. 
And so to him, it was like, okay, well, I'm going to go date somebody else then, you know. And so now we're in this situation where things start to seem like they're going in a better place. Then they break up again or like it doesn't end up coming together. But I do see that they are going to end up being together again. It's just I think Scott is going to mess it up again too. Oh, so let's see what else the cards have to say. He's very emotionally open to Courtney, though, with this King of Cups. But I feel like with this Three of Cups, you know, and this Emperor card, it's like every time that he does start to get her to come around and start opening up to him again, with this Knight of Swords and this King of Wands, he does screw it up. So the cards are confirming that again. That he is the one that messes things up whenever they do start to get back together again. And that puts Courtney in these, you know, positions where she has to make a choice. But Courtney is so afraid of being blindsided and getting hurt again that she has a hard time letting him in. It's like she starts opening up to him and then the littlest thing that happens, it's like, oh, I still can't trust you. I still can't trust you. And so Scott kind of feels like he bangs his head against the wall a lot trying to get things to, you know, a different place. They both want the same thing though. They really do. It's just that they're just not, they're both so afraid of getting hurt by one another again. So let's see. That's kind of just the overview of where they're at right now. Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um, Spirit, can you please tell us how does Scott Disick feel about Courtney Kardashian? Does he want to be with her again? Or is he moving on for good? And honestly, you guys, I always feel like because Courtney felt like she spent so much time, you know, like in the house waiting for Scott to come home from partying while she was alone with the kids or, you know, spent so much time waiting for him to like grow up or whatever that... I think that she kind of gets a little bit of joy out of the shoe being on the other foot <laughs> and him having to kind of, you know, chase her around a little bit. Let's see. It's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Which I get it. I mean, we all go through our moments where somebody hurts us and we want that validation afterwards. It's just that, you know, you can get too caught up in that and then you end up missing out on actually ending up with that person because you're so caught up in playing that game or making them run after you or whatever. So you have to be careful with the ego trips, you know. <sighs> Knight of Cups, he's definitely still has a lot of love for Courtney and with this Knight of Wands and this page I mean the five of coins he does really really want to work things out with her um you know with the strength card and the chariot and this page of coins it's telling me about how since things aren't going the way that he wants them to it's like I had to go in a different direction but it's not a permanent different direction it's just for now you know, it's, and Spirit saying that it's about that he was sort of disappointed and it was like, well, instead of just sitting here whining and moping about her, I'll just move on and date somebody else to distract myself so that I'm not just sitting around feeling bad. So whoever this girl is, she's definitely a rebound. Um, whoever she is, I mean, Lisa Rinna's daughter, unfortunately. Um... And with this Palace of Cups, you know, Scott does see Courtney as his ultimate, like, happiness, family, life partner, you know, that just basically happy home. Um, and again, here he is with this King of Cups towards her. With the Four of Wands, he is trying really hard to get on the right path so that he can make this offer to her with this four of coins to be able to work things out. Um, 
And again, it's like with this two of coins, the queen of wands and the moon card and this ace of wands, again, it's always feeling like, you know, I'm trying so hard to work things out with her and then it seems like we're going new and then she pushes me away again. So let's ask how Courtney feels about Scott. Ah! These cards just wanna go everywhere today. And you guys, I know like I've gotten a few comments that people wanna see like me laying the cards out. I don't have the right stand for that and I've been looking for one that I can find because I use my iPad to record because it doesn't cut me off the way my phone does. <laughs> And it uploads faster, so I have to find something that will be able to hold either one of them in the right position and not drop it off of the stands. Because all the stands that I've, I bought a few and ended up returning them. Because one of them, the light didn't work on it. Another one, like the freaking stand broke as I was putting it together. The little arm that holds the device snapped off, and it was like barely hanging on, anyways. I guess so. Not had much luck with finding a good stand and light, but. I'm gonna keep trying. How does Courtney feel about Scott Disick? Spirit, please tell us. How does Courtney feel about Scott Disick and what does she want in her connection? I didn't get any pregnancy cards yet, you guys, but I will ask if they are going to have another child together. I don't know if Courtney froze her eggs or not. I heard like she was talking about it one time or something, but I don't know if she ever did. So she is very aware that he does love her. Um, the thing is, with this Six of Swords and this Five of Cups, she always feels like there's always something. You know, there's always something that you're doing that's going to hurt me, and then I'm the one that has to pay for the price for it. With the Sun and the Chariot and this Death card, it's like every time things start to get better... And then with this star and the nine of swords and this five of wands, we, something not just little happens that we get in a fight over or that we have to work through. It's big things. You go to rehab, you date a 20 year old, you know, like she feels like there's a lot of stuff that Scott's constantly doing that it's just like, I do care, you know, and I wanted my family to work out with this 10 of wands. She definitely and the high priestess, she wanted this good, happy life with him. It's just that it felt like it was never going to be able to happen. Like at some point she felt like I have to walk away because what I want is not going to happen in this um, connection. So we do have this hermit card right here where she is waiting and seeing. But she shows up as the empress and he shows up as the emperor with this ten of coins. So they definitely are going to get back together. Um, now let's see, since we got the Empress. Spirit, is Kourtney Kardashian going to get pregnant again with Scott Disick? Or are they going to have another child together? I guess I should say that way because she could go Kem's route and do a surrogate or something. Oh, Spirit, is Kourtney going to have another child with Scott? Although honestly, I think Kourtney likes being pregnant. I can't see Courtney being able to handle there being a surrogate because she's such a control freak anyways. Like, she would be afraid that the surrogate would eat gluten or something while she was pregnant and ruin the baby. So, <laughs> I can't see Courtney being okay with having somebody else carry her child. But, I mean, if she was really that determined that she wanted to have a baby and she on her own, I guess she might. But I just can't really see her going that route. So we're going to have
so she actually with this temperance card and the king of pentacles this queen of wands high priestess hangman and then the six of cups it is something that they have discussed it is something that both of them actually do want right now it isn't the right time but i do see that once they get back together that will be something that they are going to talk about spirits also saying like when they first get back together like we won't really know like it's going to be like how remember like when she got pregnant with mason like everybody thought like they were broken up they were done for good and then all of a sudden it was like courtney's pregnant and everybody's like who's she pregnant by and then like scott just popped up again and then all of a sudden, you know, like they were back together. I feel like it'll seem like that again, even though really truthfully, we'll find out, oh, they've actually been dating for six months or whatever. They just wanted to keep it low key and make sure it was going to work before they say anything. Um, Spirit, are Scott and Courtney going to actually get married? Let's ask that. I just saw some clip the other day. I think it was on like Instagram or something that Courtney was saying in the Oprah interview that they did that she's and she was pregnant with one of the kids then this was a, a while ago so probably like the oldest son or daughter but she said that she was completely committed to Scott but that she was terrified to get married after seeing her parents divorce so Courtney and Scott going to get married but I know Scott's like proposed to Courtney a bunch of times and wanted to actually marry her and she never really did anything about it might have that wrong guys I don't watch the show everything I watched it like a little bit when it first came out but it's just you know usually any of the drama that they're talking about already happened months ago <laughs> all of that kind of stuff is so it's just I don't know I mean and I'm not a huge tv person anyways I have like four shows that I watch and I usually wait until like the season's done and then I just go back and binge watch it when I have time so but I see like I mean you can't escape it there's always clips of them on YouTube and Instagram and if you have it where it just automatically keeps playing stuff stuff will play and so it's like even though I don't watch the show I still somehow always know so much about what's going on because it's always everywhere um I actually don't see any marriage cards in here I do get this four of cups where you know he is gonna propose but she's not saying yes I keep getting with them, you know, I think that they're just going to always have this weird dynamic where they're together, but they're not necessarily like, like, I think there's going to be a lot of times where we're like, are they together or are they not together? Because they are still going to be so back and forth. Like, I don't, but I don't see any marriage happening. I do see them working on the relationship. And I think that at some point, you know, there's a good chance that they will figure it out and spend the rest of their lives together with this eight and nine of wands, you know, like there is potential for this to work out to something lasting, but I don't get any marriage cards. So like they'd probably do a Goldie Hawn and Kurt Russell, you know, just we're going to be boyfriend and girlfriend or, or fiancés for the rest of our lives, but we're not actually going to go through with the whole legal marriage part of things. So, oh, okay, guys. I mean, I do see that they're going to at least try for a baby. I didn't get like 100% yes or no on that. Let's just see one more time. Are they going to have this baby though because we know they're waiting and then they're gonna try actually going to have a baby together but Courtney's so indecisive too that you would think that by the time she made up her mind she'd be 75 and it'd be too late Empress 
and emperor. So yes, they will. Okay. So spirit saying like within the next two years. So, all right, guys, I hope that answered your questions on Courtney and Scott. I hope everybody is having an amazing day. Please continue to like, subscribe, comment. We do still have the 40% off um, a phone reading special going on for Black Friday until, I don't know when the coupon code expires, I think the third. Um, so make sure you guys head over to my website to book that. All the information will be in the description box below, but it is still good, the coupon code, as of right now when I am posting this. So I hope you all have a beautiful day. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Again, all the information will be linked in the description box below. Have a good one, guys. Bye.